Yo, what is going on guys? It is Arts here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're actually on Near Reality and as you're seeing this video, this video is probably going to end up going out two hours before the launch of the server. You guys need to click the link in the description right now. Make sure you guys are ready because this thing is going to be huge. Pretty much every YouTuber is on here. I, I literally just saw Vidic on, so that's pretty cool. That's one of my friends. But yeah, this, this server is going to be popping, so make sure you guys do check it out. But quickly, before I put today's video, let's go for the giveaway. We're giving away a $100 donator pin. All you have to do to enter that is leave a like on this video, comment your Inga name down below, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. That is all you guys have to do to enter. Nonetheless, I have been avoiding these near reality videos, or like, like just servers in general for a while. But this one is really nice. I think this one's actually going to stay. I know that's everyone's biggest fear with all these new reality remakes. This one is the real deal. And the source, or like the uh, the base or whatever, it is super, super clean and smooth. You guys will see that. Let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. I'm not going to really read everything here. I will leave a link in the description if you guys would like to. But essentially, they are doing a lot of launch prizes. They've partnered with over 20 plus YouTubers and a bunch of large discords and communities. So this is no joke. You know when there's like huge prizes involved, like we're talking 3,500 plus USD. When there's that much involved just for the launch prizes, this isn't even counting like future stuff, that they mean business. The server is going to be big boys. So you can uh, claim it as PayPal or near reality game credits if you want to keep grinding the server obviously so yeah keep in mind it is launching within hours of you seeing this video pretty much and then this is the discord that will also be linked down below in the description you can go through the behind the scenes and look like get some sneak peeks that's what i did when i first initially was thinking about making this video and then i saw it and it's actually like really good it looks clean there's an active general discord chat like there's it's pretty active they got a marketplace media you know they got everything you need but i highly recommend to check out the behind the scenes because there's some really good stuff in here so as you can see in my inventory i do have some some custom items and I will be going over that in a second but for now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some stuff like the bosses that they have some cool things that they have they have some necks here as you can see he is going to murder me if I try and fight him though but yeah as you can see they do have necks they have a fully working gauntlet um can't I guess I could enter but yeah I, I, I gotta take all my stuff off definitely not doing around to that but they do have a gauntlet which is nice I'm still coughing the Rona from uh necks it seems but then we got Zolcano, which is pretty cool. You know, it's a skilling boss, so it's actually quite useful. All right, next is finally left our bloodstream. And here's the teleport menu. You have all these options here and miscellaneous. And then here's all the bosses that they do have in one tab. They have Obor. I don't even know what this is. Uh, Giant Mole, King Black Dragon, Cave Crack. I don't know. I don't think that's a custom boss because I do recognize the name, but I'm not sure. Uh, Dragon or Dagonath Kings, whatever. Skidizo, Hydra, Calphite, God. God War, Zora, Volcath, Corp, Nex, Winter Todd. I do love these little images that they put on the uh, the interface. That's pretty cool. Zolcano, and then they do have Raids 1. I do believe Raids 2 should be a thing though, right? Yeah, so because I'm looking at the uh, the Week 2 rewards uh, for the uh, contest on the forums, and it does say Theater of Blood, so there is TOB as well. They have both Raids working. And then one more thing I wanted to show you. As you can see here, we do have a Ganodermic Beast. That's pretty freaking cool. The, if, if you didn't already see in our inventory we do have a polypore staff this was my, one of my favorite weapons oh I, I gotta leave but this was one of my favorite weapons to use back in the day on rs3 before it became rs3 obviously but pre eoc was so fun so yeah now i think it all it's used for in real runescape like rs3 i think it's only used for staking but this is a really fun weapon i really like it so i am definitely gonna be going for that it looks like it's a wilderness boss so yeah good luck with that <laughs> all right we just installed ourselves the beta for hd uh, through rune light so as you can see we are in HD it's showing all the shadows and stuff it's actually pretty clean looking I don't know if I'd use it actually I'm not gonna lie usually when you use okay hold on let's go ahead and get back to full screen first but normally when you use HD on a private server it is hella laggy like everyone that I've used at least this is not lagging for me at all it actually feels normal it feels clean so I might keep this on for now this looks pretty awesome, and it shows the shadows, as you can see, like, that's pretty cool. There's Vidic, I believe. What's up, Vidic, my boy? My man! But yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and hop into these custom items now. I I'm curious to see what they look like, too, because I haven't fully seen them all yet. Actually, one more thing. There is a fully working Grand Exchange, which is awesome. So if I wanted to offer a Lime Whip, put it in there. Obviously, no one's going to uh, buy that because it's a beta right now. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. And if you don't know what the Lime Whip is, you have never played any reality. This is the most iconic 
item in the reality so yeah glad to see that's back all right so here is the combat dummies i think my attack options yeah i gotta left click where available there we go so we can't attack now i don't know if i need runes for this how's that yeah i think i need runes but oh yeah here's a cool slayer helmet i really like the looks of that these are called the gauntlet slayer helmets so i imagine you have to do gauntlet to get that so see that's another thing you can grind gauntlet for it's just cool it's a cool idea it's not too overly custom so and then we have ourselves the like imbued capes for uh from the wilderness um mini game where you get the uh Saradome cape for example stuff like that from doing the uh the battle mages or whatever but yeah as you can see they have imbued versions of each one they look really freaking nice they look so clean all right and then obviously the death cape which is a oh, an og near reality custom and then we have these bows these bows are actually very intriguing we have the Saradomen, the zamorak and the bandos and they all have a special attack so we're just going to kind of show you guys what the abilities look like this is going to be the bandos one right here let's go ahead and see and that looks so freaking dope it uses a lot of the uh the uh, spec bar as you can see so that's pretty cool i really like that and it looks like it uses no arrows let's go and try out the zamorak i am going to assume this is going to look like the zgs special attack it, it looks similar and it does the same thing that's actually cool so wait that's op if you think about it you can pk as a range tank and have a freeze that's sick okay and then let's go ahead and try out the Saradomen. We are 63 HP, so I'm curious if it's going to heal me. I'm going to assume it will. 63... Oh no, oh, okay, so it does a Saradomen, like, sword special attack. Okay, I was expecting it to heal me, but it didn't, so that is neat. And then we have these keys, which I am going to assume are from PKing, so we're going to go check that out. They did mention that they really, really want PKing to be very profitable and just, like, a really, really, like, main, like, attraction of the server. They really want PKing to be super active, so PKing is going to be one of your best money makers, that's for sure. I've heard the Karasi is actually a really good one to do as well. Let's go ahead and just check this out first. Oh yeah. Dude, I miss the Karasi. Karasi on an old school server. Dude, that is what I love to freaking see. I love the Karasi. Karasi was always one of my favorite. Karasi and Dragon Claws pre-EOC. Two favorite like special attack weapons. And then obviously the Polypore, which no one really used for special attack anyways. And then straight west from the Grand Exchange or the home, we are over here at the Max Guild. Let's just go ahead and pop in here. Looks like there's someone here just standing still. Not really sure what goes on in here, but it looks pretty freaking cool. Nice little hangout spot. And it looks like it's got a bunch of teleports. Also, just gotta mention this because this is a pretty huge deal they have these donator pins just like the one we're giving away you can actually like use it in game or you can claim it and like or like you can sell it to another player for old school gp they have legal rwt they have a legal real world trade system in the game so imagine your eco you have too much money you don't even know what to do with it you start buying these donator pins and then basically selling them for old school gp like how could how could you not like want that on a private server that's so cool like i guess it, it does interfere with donations a little bit probably but dude that is really good for the player's sake because if you have so much money you don't know what to do with it like you may as well have an option to cash out legally and not get banned that is awesome anyways i'm going to call the video here guys as you're seeing this video the server is more than likely out and released and there are probably tons of different youtubers streaming and uploading it so make sure you go check those out as well i think this server has a really good potential the creator or the owner of the server is expecting over like 600 plus players like minimum I i'm very excited to see if that does happen i do think it has the potential and especially with all the advertisements they've got they've got like top lists everywhere they've got an ad everywhere that you can possibly get in this rsps scene and just tons of youtubers on board so they are taking the marketing very seriously and that's obviously not the only thing they're taking seriously the server looks amazing so i'm gonna be definitely making a series on here i'm gonna have fun with it i'm just debating what type of series i'm gonna want to do on here i don't know if i'm gonna do an iron man or if i'm gonna want to actually make a main account on here because this looks like it's gonna be a really fun pk server so we might do a main account we'll see anyways let me know what you guys are gonna do down below in the comments let me know what you guys are what your game plan is and again if you're seeing this video the server is more than likely out or if it just got uploaded and you're seeing it it is releasing at 4 p.m est so i'm gonna upload this two hours before then anyways peace out i'll see you guys on the server make sure you join the giveaway and peace